want to follow in George Lucas's uh, <laughs> great tradition. And you know, um, I think about what we do, and I think about who's the chairperson of everything that I do, and that's my wife. And so uh, I'm going to let her speak. But I just want to say one thing. Thank you very much to the Carnegie Endowment. Thank you very much for the incredible support that you give Vartan and, and your whole staff to so many organizations, so many deserving people. One of the things that we so much enjoy is being able to help others. And it doesn't matter whether it's in the arts, whether it's in education, uh, sciences, healthcare, and uh, just seeing people thrive from what we're able to do. And one thing I learned many years ago, and I heard it from, a, I think, one of, another great philanthropist, David Rockefeller, in which I asked him, what should I do? I'm a young person. I'd like to get involved with some organizations. He said, whatever you do, don't just write a check, but get involved and get personally involved. And that, to both Mary Jose and to me, has been the greatest pleasure that, uh, that we've had, giving our time, giving our effort, and then seeing the results. So I'm going to turn it over to the chairman. Thank you so much. What, what can I add? Um, I have to say that we're both honored and humbled to be here. And I say humbled because looking at the achievements of Andrew Carnegie, who presciently and, and with great generosity really invested in the future of this country. And you look at the 22 institutions that he created and think of how relevant and critical they are to our world today. And that is truly humbling. We're honored also to be here with other recipients who have invested also in this country's future, who have done it with such dedication and commitment, and who have lived by the adage of William Shakespeare, who said that the meaning of life is to find your gift, but the purpose of life is to give it away. And bravo to all of you for giving it so generously. Henry mentioned the areas in which we focus our attention. We focus our attention on the biosciences, uh, trying to accelerate the rate of discovery, bringing bed, bench to bed more quickly to improve the quality of patient care and health outcomes. We focus on education, notably helping less fortunate but highly motivated students to get through high school, to excel in high school, but also to get through college so that they can both strive and thrive in their adult years. And finally, we try to devote a great deal of our attention to the arts and culture, the arts and culture that afford us a new way of looking, a new way of thinking, that expand the landscape of the mind and that improve quality of life. And I'm very thankful uh, to all of you and to the Carnegie Corporation, and especially to Vartan Gregorian, who's encouraged us and inspired us in directing our giving and in growing our philanthropic involvement. But I would be remiss if I didn't also thank the people to whom Judy alluded to earlier in her remarks, the millions and millions of Americans who every day give, not only financially, but give of their time, who volunteer to make their communities better. We hear a great deal about hate and intolerance these days, but every day, millions and millions of Americans all through the nation are living and upholding the definition of philanthropy, the love of humanity. And I thank them profoundly. Thank you.